breaking news welcome to today's headlines address riazao for fulani assassination of mnk by brisbane address riazao for fulani assassination of mnk by brisbane to my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from please stay tuned as i read today's news more than one year ago mnk was kidnapped and tortured in Kenya in collusion with Nigerian Fulani government and illegally transported to Labuja for indefinite solitary detention on Fox charges of treason. Was the July 6, 2022 unchallenged nighttime storming of the Kuji Medium Security Prison by Fulani terrorists, address rehearsal for a Nigerian government, assassination of Mazi Unamdikanu under the pretext of a Boko Haram, ISIS attack on the DSS facility where he is currently detained. History may not repeat itself but it rhymes according to Mark Twain. Think back at the 1998 mysterious death of M.K. Abiola. He had been detained by military dictators on charges of treason for the other city of winning the presidency in the 1993 Nigerian elections. On the day of Abiola's scheduled release on July 7, 1998, he died under highly suspicious circumstances. Villainous dictator Sonia Bacha's chief security officer maintained that Abiola was beaten to death. But a Nigerian government orchestrated autopsy concluded that the 1993 winner of the presidency had died of a heart attack. Thrown into the mix of incriminating circumstances, the assassination of Abiola's wife, Kudirat, two years earlier during MKO's detention. You decide whether Abiola, whose popularity was a clear and present danger to Nigerians' military dictatorship, was the victim of foul play. Compare MNK's plight with Abiola's. MNK is vividly popular with Biafrans. He would win any free and fair election in Biafra by an overwhelming majority. More than one year ago, MNK was kidnapped and tortured in Kenya in coalition with Nigerian Fulani government and illegally transported to Labuja for indefinite solitary detention on Fox charges of treason. The Fulani government is clueless about how to handle Biafran's iconic savior. It has no evidence of treason, so a trial is a non-starter. The longer the government temporizes, 
the worse it looks. How can it be that with limitless resources, no scruples over bribing witnesses and the pliable judiciary, the Fulani controlled government of Muhammad Buhari cannot even conduct a poorly executed show trial of MNK. The only plausible answer is that even a child would instantly be able to detect MNK's innocence. Now let us return to the July 6, 2022 portent. We know that the Buhari government is in bed with Boko Haram, a terrorist organization responsible of for 35,000 murderers and displacement of more than 2 million. President Buhari has systematically pardoned and released countless Boko Haram terrorists under the pretext of repentance, negotiation, surrender, rehabilitation, and, de and de radicalization. But there is not a crop of evidence that any released terrorist has exhibited earmarks of redemption. A leopard cannot change its spot. Buari rhetorically asked regarding the July 6 prison break, how can terrorists organize, have weapons, attack a security installations and get away with it? Buari knows the answer. By collusion with his own full and controlled government. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you for listening.